That was just truly unexpected. Today, the Alibaba team dropped a groundbreaking new open source language model with quite the name, Coin3 235B, A22B, 2507. But aside from the name, what's wild is that this release is a serious game changer in the open source field. Just last week, we were talking about Kimi K2, which performed exceptionally well across the board while being fully open source. And now we have Coin3's latest upgrade that is already outperforming it in nearly every way possible, setting new state-of-the-art benchmarks. So what exactly is this model? Well, this new Coin3 upgraded model is a new open source giant with 235 billion total parameters and 22 billion active parameters. Interestingly, unlike their hybrid reasoning models, this release isn't just using a hybrid thinking mode. Instead, Alibaba trained two separate models with distinct purposes to maximize quality, an instruct model which is focused on following instructions and dialogue. Then you have a thinking model which is designed for deeper logical reasoning and planning. This dual approach is what enables massive improvements in general capabilities. We're talking about instruction following, logic, text comprehension, science, coding, and tool usage. It's also bringing substantial gains in long tail knowledge across many languages, and it has an enhanced 256K context understanding. Now, even more impressive is that it is better in line with human preference, which is especially for subjective or open-ended tasks making it more helpful in conversation and creative writing. But in terms of benchmarks, this is where I was interested the most because this is a model that really shines in this case. It is a model that is reporting exceptional benchmarks in coding, math, agentic testing, and tool use. It goes head to head and performs exceptionally well with heavyweights like Kimi K2. In this case, it's outperforming it. Cloud4 Opus, the non-thinking version, and the DeepSeek V3. Now, to access this model, you can actually do so through Quen's chatbot, and this is where you can access this new model, which is available under the Quen 3 235B A22B model card. Now, you also have the ability to access the model cards, the instruct version, as well as the thinking mode off of Hugging Face, meaning that you have the ability to install this locally. To do so, you can use Olama or LM Studio to install different quantized versions of this model series. You can also use this model completely for free through OpenRouter. They provide a free API, which lets you access it through Klein, Kilo Code, or even something like Root Code. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And just want to make it clear that this is the non thinking model. The thinking model is still on its way, but the non thinking model also has the ability to enable thinking so that it adds more reasoning to its answer output. Let's first start off with this prompt to create a butterfly in SVG code. We're trying to see how well it is in terms of outputting SVG code and how well it is in terms of representing a butterfly with it. So let's see what it's able to output. So I've gotten the code and now I'm on this online SVG viewer and I'm going to paste it in and there we go. This actually looks remarkable. You can see that it has done a great job in creating the front and back wings while making it symmetrical. The design looks pretty awesome. And in my opinion, it did a really great job in this test of generating SVG code. Next up, I want to see how well this model is in terms of its front end capabilities. I wanted to create a responsive task management web app with the following features with a calendar view, a task list UI, option to mark tasks as complete, and bringing in creativity to make this app better. Now I'm going to be not enabling the thinking mode now, and I want to see what it's capable of outputting. So let's see what it generates. So there we go. We have our task flow, a responsive task magic app that was fully generated. Now I should have just simply used their artifacts to just visualize it within their chat bot, but I forgot to click it and it generated over a thousand lines of code. In this case, it generated approximately 1300, but I've now copied it and pasted it into this online HTML viewer. And this is our task flow app. Now, if I was to open it up within a full page, it would look a lot better. So let's just preview that. And there we go. It has integrated the calendar we had requested, and it has done a really good job in creating the base structure for this task manager app. It has 
animations. It has integrated my task, important tasks completed in the settings tab. And I can simply go ahead and add a task and it'll be displayed within the calendar based off the date I provide. Now, next up, what we're going to be doing is testing out this model within Klein. This is where I'm going to have it write Python code to scrape YouTube videos, then visualize the data in a bar chart using matplotlib. So let's see how well it is in terms of its agenda capabilities in planning, where it's able to focus on different sequences, as well as reasoning and tool usage, if necessary, with this prompt. So looks like this model is doing a pretty decent job so far in creating the API awareness where it's able to uh, focus on the right libraries and it is going to be able to use these different tools to help me scrape YouTube data. So it looks like I ran the script and it looks like it's working. It was able to successfully scrape the data from the YouTube training page where it was able to scrape all these different videos as well as the amount of users as. And you can see that within this parse the uh, data.json file, it has all the different uh, metrics like the title, the channel, the views, and you can see the first trending video is Predator from Badlands, and you can see that it was able to scrape that data and then paste it in. That's how it was able to do it. And overall, it did a great job in accomplishing this task pretty quickly. Next up, I'm going to be asking it a reasoning prompt. This is a pretty hard prompt where I'm asking it a farmer has a fox, a chicken, a bag of grain. He needs to cross a river, but can only take one item at a time to his boat. If left alone, the fox will eat the chicken and the chicken will eat the grains. How can the farmer get all three across the river safely? Now, this is essentially where we're trying to see how well it is in terms of answering a classic constraint-based logic puzzle. Essentially, we're just trying to see how well the model is in terms of tracking the state of multiple entities the location, how well it is in outputting all these different outcomes. And correctly, it's able to output all the different steps as I read through it. And it did provide me a correct summary of all the steps where it first takes the chicken across and then returns alone, takes the fox across, but brings the chicken back and then takes the grain across and returns uh, back and then takes the chicken across and all of them cross safely. And this is where it was able to get this answer pretty quickly and reason through this hard, difficult prompt. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on this new impressive new model. I really love what they have done. This is a minor update which has resulted in an impressive outcome in terms of its performance. It is really impressive in coding as well as in reasoning, and we still have a lot of new upgrades coming to this model series. I really like how they took out the hybrid thinking mode as I believe that was restricting it from being a bit better in terms of its performance. Now that there is two separate models, the reasoning as well as the instruct model, I think this is a great move that they took it out because it is going to be cleaner with its purpose-built models. So if you want to use a reasoning model, you can just simply stick to this reasoning model. And then if you want to use instruct based model, you can just use it. This way, it's going to be better instead of relying sure on the model on to Twitter guess at. the best mode for mid-tasks. And in this case, you can just simply go to the model of your choice based off of the prompt that you want. I'll put it. But that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think. This is something that you can access completely for free with the Quen3 <laughs> open router. I just showed my API key. I'll, I'll change this up. Don't worry about it. But <laughs> you can access it completely for free through open router. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Join our newsletter. Follow me on the Patreon. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Start positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.